Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Trump just made a major announcement. He did it. President Donald Trump just made a major announcement to let people know he was successful in attaining what was previously thought was unobtainable. In other words, they did it. Trump announced to the Americans and the country that a very important meeting that was previously canceled is back on. Trump specifically speaks about the now confirmed meeting on June 12th in Singapore. This announcement comes after Trump met with Kim Jong Chol, who brought a letter for Trump that was from Kim Jong Un himself. After receiving the letter and likely talking about it, Trump and Yong Chul had quite a talk, and it's been decided that Trump will sit with Jong Un, making quite a historic moment and bringing peace to nations who have been in dispute for over 70 years. Trump said four words that got everyone excited: "We're going to deal." Fox News reported. President Trump said Friday that a high-stakes summit between him and Kim Jong-un is back on for June 12, following a lengthy meeting with a top North Korean official in the Oval Office. We'll be meeting on June 12 in Singapore, the president told reporters after the North Korean emissary left the White House. He called Friday's meeting with North Korea's Kim Jong-chol a great start. Trump confirmed that the visiting official gave him a personal letter from dictator Kim Jong-un, though he hadn't yet read it. We're going to deal, Trump said. Trump spoke to reporters after an extraordinary scene played out on White House grounds, with Trump hosting the North Korean official for over an hour in the Oval Office, the latest gesture in an effort by both sides to get talks back on track after North Korea's belligerent rhetoric prompted Trump to nix the summit last week. Trump said the meeting was supposed to just be about the delivery of a letter but ended up being a lengthy conversation with the second most powerful man in North Korea. We talked about a lot of things, Trump said. We really did. But the big deal will be on June 12. After the meeting, Trump and Secretary of State Pompeo were seen taking photos with the visitors. Kim Jong Chol is the most senior North Korean visitor to the United States since Vice Marshal Jo Myon Rock visited Washington in 2000 to meet President Bill Clinton. He is North Korea's former military intelligence chief and is one of the North Korean leader's closest aides. Trump said they also discussed ending the Korean War between North and South Korea. Can you believe that we're talking about the ending of the Korean War? Trump told reporters. We're talking about 70 years. The official's arrival in Washington came a day after Pompeo declared that he was confident negotiations with Pyongyang over holding a nuclear summit were moving in the right direction. Our two countries face a pivotal moment in our relationship, and it would be nothing short of tragic to let this opportunity go to waste, Pompeo said in New York after meeting with Kim. The two countries, eyeing the first summit between the U.S. and the North after six decades of hostility, have also been holding negotiations in Singapore in the demilitarized zone between the two Koreas. This is great because now progress can finally be made that could restore peace to previously tense situations between the Koreas. Trump had made progress with North Korea, then it seemed like the meeting was off. Trump spoke about it being a mistake and missed an opportunity. Now after a meeting with the second most powerful man from North Korea the meeting is on and they can hopefully put a rest to their 70-year dispute that has tainted their relationship. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.